I have not been reading a lot recently. Today I'm going to share with you guys all of the books that I read from January through April. It's not a lot of books and I feel like I could have read more but I have been in a horrible little reading slump. Okay let's get started. I have some very interesting book recommendations so if you're interested in romance novels then keep on watching this video. So in January I read 10 books which is the most books I've read in a month honestly and I know that's like not a lot to some people but they were very heavy books. Some of these books are really hard to get through so I obviously can't remember which book I read in which month so I'm just gonna like randomly go off by like series or author. The very first book that I read is Throttled by Lauren Asher. If you don't already know, Lauren Asher is my favorite author, okay? Honestly, Colleen Hoover and Lauren Asher are like fighting for the number one spot right now but both of them are like my top like two favorites. So this is actually the very first book in the Dirty Air series. I love this series. It was so good. It's about Formula One drivers and like a race car driving um, romance type of novel and I'm usually not into sports romance but I'm telling you it's actually very interesting and I love this book because I actually like watch a lot of like race car driving movies and stuff like that like my family's like huge on like the fast and furious movies and we used to go to car racing shows all the time reading this book and the entire series brought back feelings that i didn't even know were there so the entire series is made out of four books about each friend in the group and about each girl that they're after or each like girl that comes into their lives and it's about you know their um, career and how they fall in love and I just think it's such a beautiful series I just love how the friendships are formed each book is so special and beautifully written this series is a five out of five for me highly recommended if you love like sports romance each boy and each couple honestly is just so unique and so different and maybe Lauren Asher is obsessed with picnics but all of her guys just like love planning picnics for their girl and it's just the sweetest little romance book. This series has been like my favorite series so far that I've read for this year and I think you should read it as well. The next two books that I read are by Colleen Hoover. <laughs> These two books were so sad they were so devastating but the story was so beautiful the first book i read is all your perfects and i think you should definitely read because it was so good it's about this girl and this guy they met in the hallway of the girl's boyfriend who is cheating on her with the guy's girlfriend yeah so that's how these two met that's like so messed up honestly um so obviously they both ended up leaving their boyfriend and girlfriend so the story is basically about present day which is like seven years after they've met and so it goes back and forth like from the day they met and their journey to today which they are married they kind of just talk about kind of like what led them to the situation that they're in right now seven years later i really like this book and i give it a five star anything by colleen hoover is a five star for me and i really liked it especially they talk about how these two couple met how they kind of instantly connected and they have this bond and even though they bonded over something so drastic they ended up finding like they're happily ever after but obviously you know that there is a devastating plot twist she makes up for it so um you won't be disappointed their colleen hoover book i read is reminders of him and i have to say this is her saddest book literally i truly believe this has been the saddest book i've ever read from her i haven't read all of her books yet so so far this is by far her saddest book another five stars i've never read like single parent books before so i believe this is my very first one and i loved it i really liked it i didn't think i would like that trope but really i liked it especially how this book was written <sighs> so sad so this book is about a girl her name is kenna and she's been in prison for five years for something that she did or didn't do i really don't want to like say too much to spoil it 
but basically she's been in prison and she was pregnant at the time her daughter is staying with the the guy that she's been with his parents and that guy is, is dead obviously and so she doesn't really have any family she's she's always been on her own and so as soon as she gets out of prison she obviously wants to see her daughter like her daughter is four years old now she's never like really met her have or anything like that like it's just so sad that she's moving back to this town to see her daughter and the parents or the grandparents wants nothing to do with her because they like blamed her for their son's death and honestly it's just the saddest thing that could ever happen to a mother like it was just so heartbreaking she moves back to her hometown and she tries to just get herself together get get a job get an apartment she's trying to like save money because she really wants to prepare herself for when she finally gets her daughter back obviously the grandparents don't want anything to do with her they think that she's a threat they get a restraining order against her and it's just so devastating to see this mother trying to just get her daughter back then she meets this guy and then he doesn't know anything about her he doesn't know about her past and so they kind of bonded and have like this instant connection I kind of expected more from the plot twist they didn't really give much but overall, I think it's just a beautiful story just reading about a young mother trying to reunite with her daughter and just trying to turn her life around. It's just a very different kind of story that I don't normally read, but I really enjoyed it and I really liked it and it's a five-star read for me. So I highly recommend. The next, I read The One. This is the third book in the selection series. I didn't quite enjoy it as much. The first book was okay. And obviously, okay, it's not a bad series. Like everyone just hates the series. I did enjoy the series. I haven't finished the series yet. I just read the first, second, and this is the third book. And I don't know if I want to finish the series because it's just driving me nuts. I think it's a great story. It's kind of like a princess version of The Bachelor kind of i like the series i just don't like the characters like the characters really made me angry overall i think it's a great concept and a great series and there's going to be a movie or a tv series coming out so i'm hoping that's like much better than the book i can't believe i'm saying that but i really hope that they really do this book justice with this movie next i read never get angry which is like a self-help lifestyle kind of book i mentioned it in my book haul it's helped me so much i highly recommend it. if you're interested in a self-help book to control your anger issues and your self-esteem and your ego i think this book is perfect for that because it really explains how to deal with things that you can't control in your life next book i read is the song of achilles I did not quite enjoy it the way i thought i was going to i think it's because i'm not really interested in greek mythology this book mainly focused on that there is just so much that happens in this book that i just did not understand and i couldn't pronounce like half of the names in this book so that made me like Ur. it honestly kept me hooked like i really wanted to know what was going to happen and are these two characters going to end up together and i just love the whole journey of it all I just love the friendship that was formed. I really like this book. It wasn't one of my favorite books, to be honest with you. Maybe I need to like reread it again to fully understand the story. It was very interesting and it was very different from like what I normally would read. Okay, the next three books are from a series called The Maid Series and I'm not gonna show the books because the author is problematic and I really enjoyed these books. I just would not recommend buying these series and supporting this author. And I know like most of my authors have some kind of issues to be honest with you. But I read that series and I liked it. I mean, I love the main character in the first book. I relate so much to her. She's just this very fun and bubbly and kind person that I've just never been more related to. And that's why I really like the first book more than the other two books. Next book that I read is called Change Up by Lacey Hart. This book was actually gifted to me like last year and it's just been sitting on my shelf and I'm like, I need to just read this book. So this is a sports romance book. I did like this book, but I just felt like the writing was not it. There were so many grammatical errors. <laughs> But overall, I think the story was really cute. It's about this guy who's a professional 
baseball player. Something happens and he moves back to his hometown to be with his teenage daughter. And then he kind of meets this girl that works at a bookstore and they instantly connect. And so he's trying to be a good father for his teenage daughter while he's also trying to fall back in love or have some kind of like dating life and i did enjoy it but it wasn't like the greatest book the spice level was eh. it was more focused on just the history of this guy and him kind of trying to have a normal life with his daughter and this girl he just met Okay, so the next book that I read is Terms and Condition by Lauren Asher. This is a grumpy ex sunshine slash fake dating slash marriage convenience. All of my favorite tropes in just this one little book. I could not stop laughing. This book is about Declan and Iris and Declan is the CEO of his company or is about to be and for him to secure that spot he has to be married and have a kid in a year and so his assistant iris just randomly decides that oh i'll marry you just to get your inheritance just so you can be ceo da -da 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 -da. yeah i talked about this book in my last video which was my fake dating trope video so if you want to learn more about this book go watch that video because it's a lot to explain but i'm just saying that this is a five star read for me and you should go read it okay next book i read is court by tracy wolf and I was so disappointed. I really expected to get answers and I did not get a single thing. Like literally the last page is where all the answers came in. And now we have to wait until the next book to actually get answers. Guys, this book is so thick. I just cannot remember what happened in this book. Like all I remember is them being... I don't even remember this book. Like, what the heck did I read for an entire week? I gave this book a four stars because of all the cute moments the main character and her love interest had, honestly. But this is part of the Crave series, which is one of my favorite YA series, which I think you should totally check out. The second book was my favorite, five stars, and the third book was definitely my second favorite book. But this was such a disappointment. I've been trying to read like some fantasy books because I just felt like I've been reading so many contemporary rom-coms, romance novels lately. This book has been like TikTok's most famous trending book since last year. And this book is just about like these six characters. They low-key can't stand each other but they all have a very special unique kind of trait or like superpower they just ganged up to do this very dangerous heist this is more like an action adventurous type of book with friendships i really do love the development of friendship in this book i love the group of friends together they're hilarious but the romance is like it's slightly there i heard there's more romance in the second book so that's kind of motivating me to read the second book next. Next, I read The Inheritance Game and the second book. And this book was so freaking good. This was such a page turner. I was addicted. I couldn't stop reading. I, I loved it so much. This book is a five-star read for me because it was just so interesting. It was very mysterious. There's a hint of romance in there. I do hate love triangles and there is like a slight love triangle in here, but I like, I just don't know how I feel about it. Anyway, so this book is about this girl. She's literally living in her car. This girl, Avery, she gets a message that she inherits a millions billions of dollars from the stranger and the grandkids of this man that died they're trying to figure out why he left everything to a random girl so they're trying to figure out this mystery like who is this girl is she related to them and so two of the brothers are like really into this mystery and they're both like slowly falling for her and that's gonna end so badly and then you get to the second book and you, you get some answers, but it's still like, but why? Like, why? And you just want to like, know like, who's who and like, what's really going on? The second book was really good. I loved it. Five stars. I really do love the mystery in this book. I just felt like it's 
never ending like it's literally like one thing after the next but i do enjoy it i do love a good mystery and i feel like mysterious books are like my new thing now team grayson all the way if you're wondering and if you've read this book told you guys i was like trying to get into poetry so i got this book it's called the chaos of longing and it's so beautiful like it's just cover to cover i like to read this like on days where i just need a break from everything it's just so deep and so relatable and i i just want to screenshot every single page and like just put it on my story I just think that they're just so lovely to have so five star read for me okay the next book i read is called twisted love so this is part of a series i loved it but it is very similar to this book wrecked by lauren asher so something devastating happens in this book to the girl loki the same thing happened to the guy in this book like it's twisted around a little bit but it's kind of like the same concept it's definitely grumpy egg sunshine so like this guy is just out for revenge and she's just trying to get her her life together he moves into the house next door to her to keep an eye on her and he's just like this overprotective type of guy that she ends up falling for i actually i really did enjoy it but i just feel like i've read so many books similar to this book that i really thought it was going to be like different the plot twist was just like very dark and like unexpected but i i kind of sensed that it was coming i'm actually really excited for, to read those other two books and i feel like they're gonna be yes indeed a lot better than this one okay the next book that i read is crescent city 2 by sarah j mass and i was not going to get this book but my friend convinced me to get it and everyone on tiktok is like buying this book and talking so many great things about it and i really wasn't planning on buying this book like i was just gonna like find it online or something like that but i kind of just needed to know more about this story and i'm actually a really huge fan of sarah j mass's work i really wanted to like get back into like that fantasy romance type of books this book was so well written sarah j mass is an amazing writer I really really liked it it was so much better than the first book it is a five star read for me the story was amazing. I'm not gonna say too much about it because it is the second book and I don't want to spoil the first book for you. This book is just basically about a girl whose best friend and her entire pack of wolves got killed and they're trying to figure out who killed her. And so they figured that out in the first book and now in the second book, they're kind of, there was kind of like a, um, a battle or like a war in the first book. So this second book is kind of like about the aftermath of what happened and these two characters who were attracted to each other in the first book are finally getting together in the second book but obviously a lot of like stuff comes up and we get to see more characters in this book more characters point of view in this book and i really really like that so if you're interested in fantasy romance mystery action books i mean if you love a court of thorns and roses then you will love this series but you guys the ending of this book had me screaming i'm not okay like i'm shaking i love this book so much i wanted to like reread it or like just like reread the entire series <sighs> but i have way too many books to do that i forgot to mention i read the longest ride back in january i borrowed it from a co-worker so i don't have a physical copy but that was my first nicholas sparks book that i've read that i actually really liked like i don't read a lot of male authors but that was one that i really really enjoyed and then i watched the movie afterwards and it was like completely like the opposite of the book it's kind of about this girl who finds this older man in a car accident just left there but he was he's still alive like he's trying to survive in the book they talk about how he's imagining his wife and she's telling him these stories of when they were younger how they met how they fell in love all the travels they've been on and in the movie he's reading these letters to the girl that found him it's kind of like a parallel type of story so he's talking about him and his wife while this girl that found him she's also falling in love with this guy she met in this town the ending of the book is what really really like just made me tear up because i just did not expect that to happen 
but I would, I'm definitely interested in reading more Nicholas Sparks books. If you guys read Nicholas Sparks books and you have some good ones, recommend them to me because I'm, I'm interested. Okay, you guys, the final book that I read in April is this book. I can't say it because I have like younger audience on this channel, but we're gonna just call it the Mind series. And can I just say that this book literally like messed with my head so this is a five book series and all five books are like smushed into the, like this giant book and i finished this entire series in less than a week i'm just obsessed i would do anything for the main character like what she's been through is just i like just unreal before you read this book though i highly would recommend you reading the trigger warnings because it is a very dark and intense book and it's not something that I would normally read. It's a romance of course but it's just about like revenge and like killing the bad guys and just like very very descriptive and I really should have read like the trigger warnings carefully before I purchased this book but honestly I read this book with a straight face and that's very questioning but this series is about this girl. She's been through hell and back. So something happens like 10 years ago with this girl and her brother and she's out to get revenge on these 13 guys or 12 guys that wronged her, her brother and her father. And so she's literally out killing each guy one by one. It gets very descriptive what she's doing to them. It's such an addicting book, like you just cannot put it down. I've read like two of these books in like one day. That's how like good it is. But the fun part of this book is that she falls in love with this um, FBI agent who is looking for her. Like he's looking for this killer and he's literally dating this killer. And the last book honestly is just... <sighs> This is a five star read for me, you guys, because I've never read anything like this. Yeah, it's like super twisted and super dark, gory or whatever, but it was so good. It was so different from like what I normally read. And the plot twist, did not expect that. Did not expect that to happen. I didn't see it coming. I didn't even think about it. Like, it was just so messed up. Please read the trigger warnings before you read this book. The rating age is 18 plus. I just really love it. I really liked it. It was like one of the greatest reads so far for me and I would do anything for this main character. Like I am so glad there's a happy ending in this book. I really really thought this book was gonna end really badly but it took a turn. If you're into dark romance, mystery, like if you're into like crime stuff like that this is the book for it but please read trigger warnings because i don't want anyone to go into this book blindsided the way i kind of did okay i think that's all i read the past four months that is all i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoy my video and let me know if you want to see any specific book related video because i really do like making these videos and just talk about books so yeah thanks again so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye